Well, welcome guys to another review coming to you on Design Junkie 58 and today I'm proud to announce another review coming to you and today this is an auto valve system. That's right. It's one of the first ones I've ever created. Uh, it's based off another Lego designer. However, I uh, kind of mimicked his uh, idea and decided to create my own auto gearbox. Now, before you start ranting about, oh, this isn't you know, the most efficient way to design an auto gearbox. Uh, I do realize that. I, I realize this is a bulky version for an auto valve, and there's a lot of simple ways you could do it. This way is just more of a complex way, but it's, but it's actually really cool on how this mechanism actually works. Um, on a normal auto valve, the driving, I mean, the worm gear would actually slide back and forth on an axle. Here, the driving ring is mounted securely, uh, and it's stationary, it doesn't move. What moves is actually the eight tooth gear below it on this uh, slider mechanism. There's actually two axles inside and that actually slides back and forth along with this cam which is this o oval oblong piece and it actually is what switches the gears or in this case the valve. So this is the newer uh, pump. It's six studs in uh, length but it extends out to eight I believe. Um, the length is actually 13 studs. It's about 9 studs tall and about 8 studs wide. This is the opposite side where we have the large cylinder and the uh, uh, tubes which connect inside to the valve uh, right there. So, and it's powered by a medium motor geared down 12 to 20 and then you got three 16 tooth gears up to the main drive shaft which runs all the way through to the pump. So basically the complex parts the inside, but without any further delay, uh, let's just power this thing up. And you'll see the pump extend and retract from behind. So now you can see it raising up. So, uh, it's pretty awesome design. Like I said, it's not based off my own personal mock idea off the top of my head. Um, I did uh, copy it to some extent, but I also modified it in my own way. Uh, so that's about it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yes, I will be posting instructions for this. So stay tuned, and hopefully you'll be able to build this for yourself. See you later in the next video, guys.